Uh, let's go next to Kelly, who is on the line in Florida. Kelly, how can I help? Hi. Um, I've been a special education teacher, Ken, for 29 years. Mm -hmm. um, I said to one of my colleagues a couple weeks ago, I go, can you believe next year I'll have done this for 30 years? Wow. And right, that's what I thought. I thought, wow. No, yeah, but I'm saying wow um, in a good way. That's impressive. Yeah, it is. And I'll, and I'll tell you, I'm really proud of it. Um, you should be. It's not... Yeah, it's not something I plan on leaving. I, I don't want to leave my career. Um, I was married to a Marine for 28 years, so I got to travel and do a lot with that. Um, what's happening now is, though, I said it out loud that it's 30 years. Mm. <laughs> and I'm really trying to think of a way to increase my income, but honor what I do and use the knowledge that I've gained for sure in this area over that much time. Okay. Um, How much do you make right so now? I make 57. 57. 30 years with two master's degrees. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and so I know you've been in special ed, but you just laid it out beautifully. I want to do something that honors what I've been doing. So in your mind, what have you wondered about? What is a step up or a step two or three up from what you've been doing now? What would that field look like or what would that role be? I really want to help more. Um, my audience right now are the kids that I work with and the families that I work with, and it's a lovely audience. Uh, if I had what I wanted, though, I would want to be able to reach more people. Um, so many people don't understand what their children really need. So many educators are confused and want to do well, but don't always understand what's required. Okay. Um, All right. This yeah. is fun. Okay, I'm starting it's to track. Time. All right, now it's time okay. for you to dream, and you have to promise me before you answer this next question that you're not going to come up with limitations. You're just going to let your heart throw it out there. Do you promise? Yes, sir. All right, if you knew you couldn't fail. Okay. You absolutely knew it wouldn't fail. How would you affect more people knowing what you already know right now? How would you get that information out to them? I honestly, I have really thought about and even have started kind of working on a blog there you go. website yeah. um, to look at, you know, what, what am I reading now? Yeah. What can you learn from it? Yeah. What, what is a great resource for assistive technology and who can it help? Yeah. See, here's the, um, here's the question. You really do know where to look, even if you don't know the exact resource that a family uh, or, you know, someone affected uh, has, a, has a special needs uh, person in their family, whatever it is, that you just know the direction. Even if you don't have the resource, you could go find it, couldn't you? Oh, absolutely. Okay, that makes absolutely. you tremendously valuable. So let me throw something at you. Here's what I want you to consider. Kelly, I want you to consider launching the blog tonight. But why not do it on a Facebook page? Don't even worry about a design. Create a Facebook page. You can do that. It costs you nothing. And I want you to start writing. And I want you to commit over the next week to write five or six pieces, okay? Coming out of your existing experience, something you're fired up about. Second thing I want you to do is launch an Instagram page. Put some resources out there. Then I want you to start a podcast. Just record something from your heart. Interview some people that are experts right there in your area. I want you, in short, Kelly, to begin to create content that you know is valuable, that you know will help your target audience. See, you're absolutely clear. You know who you want to help. You know what problem you want to solve. You know what solution you want to provide start doing it and let's not try to do it full time right now let's just do it on the side let's build the platform build the audience start going to the conventions and the trade shows and getting online in the webinars where other people who are sourcing these families you start hanging out all the time just use the proximity principle get around people that are doing what you want to do get in places where what you want to do is happening kelly and guess what opportunities are going to present themselves to you you've got what it takes it's go time